weekend, I was just walking around out here having some psychotic thoughts and thought I would try to make a video. So I was saying, <clears throat> I want to find something interesting to talk about. I want to develop an idea that is interesting to hear. Like about the everything machine. The everything machine has one tube for every element that exists going into it. It is the shape of a sphere with tubes for every element that exists. Only that element that is meant for that tube will fit into it. It itself is a key to get into the right tube. And then inside the everything machine, it's hollow, and that's where things are created. The everything machine pulls the proper atoms in from its environment and bonds them together in such a fashion that it creates a living thing or anything. The everything machine can create anything that exists in reality. If it's a combination of atoms in any way, then it's, then it's possible. Unless there's a limited number of atom types, then you couldn't make anything. You'd be limited on what you could make based on how many atoms exist and are free to be used because a lot of atoms are already in use. So it's not a perfectly magical machine. It does have limitations. Everything has limitations. Even God would, <clears throat> if God existed, if God existed. I forgot what I was saying about that. not really trying to advertise for Mountain Dew. I was just really thirsty. <clears throat> so there's the everything machine and then there's the idea machine, which is an everything machine, but it has a screen in it and it can show you ideas based on Everything that exists as a possible scenario, you can experience through the everything machine, the idea machine. You can experience it through quantum size VR and augmented reality. If you could create quantum VR, so that every sensation is attached to the virtual reality experience, you would not know the difference between realities. You would think when you were in one reality, the other reality was not a reality and vice versa. You would never know what was real. You'd have to be careful and set a time limit on how long you could use the VR so that you spend more time in actual reality and less time in VR, like eight hours of VR and then three days of living your actual reality. Yeah. And then what else would there be to talk about? The idea machine can tell you every possible scenario that exists out there on, on anything. Basically what happens is you go into the idea machine and you tell it what you want to know or what you want to see or what you want to experience. It can just show you things. It can make you live it if you want to. But it will show you anything that's an actual reality that exists. It has to be realistic for the idea machine to show it to you or let you experience it. 
There has to be a real example of it somewhere in the universe. So it also gives you ideas on different things that could happen in the universe that have to do with sentient experiences and consciousness. Sentient experiences <coughs> are between parties. They are a sharing of ideas and interaction and experience. Time is just non-existent. It's just a bunch of experiences piled on top of each other. But we have to measure everything as humans. We have to measure everything that we can except for other people's emotions. Why can't we figure out how to create a device to measure other people's emotions? Like, we know what chemicals are released during certain emotional states. Why can't we come up with a device to measure that in people from a distance so you can know their emotional state? I don't know, can't we figure out frequencies? Like your whole body has a frequency, <clears throat> and when you're angry, wouldn't your frequency have an angry frequency to it? We should be able to measure these things, but we're putting our focus into the wrong areas. I don't know what the hell we're putting our focus on in this country for funds. I would probably be horrified to know. But I got off topic somehow. Okay.